हाई गाइज फॉलो मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम टू नेवर एवर मिस एनी ऑफ माई क्रेजी अपडेट्स Good morning, guys. Just got up after a nice eight hours sleep, and I got up and I got really panicked as I opened the window. Firstly, it was freezing cold, and it was so foggy. And there were messages coming on the group, the Honda Asian Journey group, that you know, get your riding uh, rain gear and stuff. And I was so worried because because once I, it starts raining, I can't vlog because the mic slot is open. So I was like. I don't know what to do, but the weather seems to have cleared out. Fingers crossed. I hope it doesn't rain because yesterday when I was heading, it started raining, and you can't stop midway because all the marsh, everyone, the whole convoy is going. So I'm like putting my hand on the helmet, ka mic, just to cover it from rain. It's really crazy. I'll just show you. The weather is mind-boggling, and oh god, it's super cold. Freak! It's freezing. Just look at this. I remember the feel of the air touch my skin. Am I real? Cause I felt something leave from within. Set to leave right now, and although the weather has cleared, I still have nothing to worry because I'm not going to be vlogging on the bike I'm riding because I'm riding the CBR 650F, which I've already reviewed in India. So there's no point of me trying to review it over here. Secondly, we're in the guard section. As we come out, I think weather will improve. There's a little fog happening right now, and the other two bikes I'm riding are, of course, the Africa Twins. One is a manual, one is an automatic. Let me try and see if I can get hold of a CBR 500R. Or even a CB500 or a CB500X, because the 500cc motorcycle is obviously very attractive to India because it's an A2 license motorcycle. Anyways, it is 8:15. I'll have a very quick breakfast of not more than five minutes. Head on to the bikes. Not mounting my camera on the chin because of risk of rain. I'm gonna do it on the tank of the motorcycle. Take some time lapses and stuff like that. See you guys. I feel empty. Have I got nothing left to give? Am I living? Cause I only felt alive with him I'm driving in the night, the hood down It's when I feel alive, when no one's around The darkness deep inside comes to light now But it's alright, it's alright I can break no heart if I got none I won't break apart if I stay on the run But sometimes in the night I miss the sun Why did darkness come? I felt my body break My heart give up. Why did darkness come? I felt the lightning shake me in. Come to a stop. Uh, basically, we've come down from the hill. and now it's also raining but it's the time for a bike swap i think i'm going to be riding the africa twin the cbs 60f was really very nice and on the twisties good amount of grip on offer and most importantly i'm just trying to find the right light okay most importantly i mean it inspired me to pull hard and fast and lot of torque lower down now so i don't have to worry about shifting gear i can keep it in one gear and just come it's like that torquey bike is really nice only thing is uh, the riding position is a bit set forward a little sporty so it does take a toll on your upper back as well as your on your shoulders and like probably yeah but that really doesn't matter much obviously it's a sporty bike but with the engine being a little bit more smooth and linear obviously it's a four cylinder motor anyway as you can see behind me so all the bikes are parked people are clicking pictures everyone's excited we're just going to have water pay we go to the loo by the way the loo is known as tandas yeah if you switch tns you know it will be the indian loo time to head out again Hopefully, I'm going to open the tabs on this motorcycle real soon, so you can see it inspires a lot of confidence to ride hard and fast. That's the beauty of this machine. I really like it. And okay, that CBR 650F has an open exhaust. Sounds really nice as well. Uh, not the CBR, obviously it does. I'm talking about this one. So right now I'm riding. Okay, here, why is it down? So right now I am riding towards the lunch stop. Two hours ride on this motorcycle. I was actually given an Africa Twin, but I swapped it for a CBR 500R because I honestly wanted to ride the CBR 500R. Now the R kind of this motorcycle actually struggles in front of the other big bikes because obviously they have a lot more performance on offer. But overall performance and punch is decent enough. In fact, this is more fun to ride. It's compact. You can ride it near the limit. The others have a lot of power, especially that Goldwing which you see up front. So uh, right now we just had a quick stop for drinks and uh, not drinks as such. Water. as well as going to the loo 
but uh, now we are heading and uh, we are on a very narrow road we've taken a different road you can see the cop has stopped the road completely so that we can go hard and fast so right now just enjoying the weather it was raining in the morning it's still kind of drizzling and i've been brave enough to actually use my gopro right now it's a stupid move as such i tried to waterproof it but as soon as i got onto the throttle the complete plastic came off so that's the situation right now anyways as you can see this cbr 500r is a very nice and nimble motorcycle get onto the throttle it responds immediately and the sound is also very nice hopefully honda launches it in india i'm not tired as such uh, i'm just excited you know to meet mark marquez in the evening i don't know how close are we going to get to him but uh, there are going to be a lot of people probably there is going to be security as well so excited for that now let's get riding hard and fast to reach the destination quickly because we're doing 110 kilometers in two hours non-stop riding on this motorcycle i don't mind it at all but then we are going to be riding in the city where probably i am a little hungry to ride the dct gearbox motorcycle just for the ease of not doing anything <laughs> the goldwing was the best you know i put my luggage in the boot right now the luggage is tapped on my shoulder so yeah i have to move that around as well anyways these people are taking photos instagram stories and what not uh, real fun <laughs> i'll see you later okay we are really not off roading but road is under construction here so really slow down over here single file all of us going from here traffic has been stopped that's a pulsar yeah that's right pulsar 200 fi nice to see a indian cycle in malaysia Again, we have to go one by one. That CBR is really loud. So no place in the world has perfect roads, as you can see. Yeah, that is an HRV Honda Squad. Proton, 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 Honda, Toyota. I mean, Proton is the Maruti Suzuki of Malaysia, I think. Come on, give me some good roads. Okay, this road construction is the reason for the delay. Traffic has been stopped here again. Okay, again we have slowed down. It's a golf course, that's why. The almost two-hour ride got over sooner than expected, and it was a beautiful ride. We went through different kind of roads. We went through cities, villages, narrow roads, and I mean, it was just amazing. And right now, all of us have you know parked the motorcycles. You can see the motorcycles right now. All of us have just parked it. Now we're going to have lunch again. Going to swap motorcycles, then going to head to the hotel. And obviously, once we reach the hotel, I'm going to update you more on that. As you can see, uh, I am extremely excited. Lot of motorcycles I rode. This one, the CBR 500R, which I hope it comes to India. It's a brilliant machine. Now it's time for lunch, and I just want to ride more and more and more. Just check out the lineup. All right, we are flagging off from the lunch spot right now. And the funny thing is, I was supposed to get a manual, but I've got an automatic, and I'm very happy about it because I was like going for the clutch, and I'm like, oh, why the clutch so far? I'm like, oh no, this is the automatic. I'm like, no, oh yes, it is the automatic because this is the automatic, and we have to ride a lot in the city, stop go traffic. So I am glad I'm actually riding an automatic. So we are having three lines parallelly, and then we get off to ride. We are going to Kuala Lumpur and uh, going to reach the hotel. Then I'm going to update you more on what exactly transpired. But right now, this is one of the few motorcycles on earth, which make me question that the seat height is low. But it's not; it's massive. My feet is obviously touching the ground right now. You can see another Africa Twin. That too is an automatic. It's another Africa Twin. This guy's got a manual, and we are off. My goodness, it's like on a sofa. I'm glad because since morning I've been riding motorcycles, which haven't been very comfortable for me because the ride was also a little bit long. So right now riding the Africa Twin, I am so happy. You have no idea. The cops have stopped the traffic completely. There's a BRV standing over there, right in front. The DCT works brilliantly well. I love it. I absolutely love the DCT box. Come on, give me some open roads, and then I'll start logging on this motorcycle. The sun is out. Thankfully, the rain is gone. I was very worried about the rain actually, and uh, 
well i'll tell you a story later on though it looks like we have put the whole city to a stop you know all the traffic has been stopped so we can get going quickly and trust me like there's a lot of traffic was in the city area right now but the cops have stopped everyone everywhere so we can keep moving without having wasting any sort of time it's a nice thing actually it makes you feel like a vip riding here in malaysia there goes the marshal so they you know stop traffic once we clear then they go ahead and stop the other traffic that's how quick and swift they are look at that everyone has been stopped on the right people are waiting once the whole convoy of i think 61 motorcycles pass and along with a lot of marshals cops uh, yeah, all of them are on motorcycles and i think there are a couple of cars as well there's a honda city vtec i think which happens to be one of the lead cars or so not really the lead car i think it is one of the cars though there is the cops marshals this is so much fun just imagine all this happening in india people won't stop only people like nahi nahi you don't know who i am to janta nahi meri pehchan kya hai main kis kis ko janta hu main hu kaun types and here people don't even budge no one honks people just like silently sitting they don't even bother to close the gap look at that okay chill completely i love the exhaust on this bike somehow they have revised the exhaust in the 2018 version anyways says 40 km per hour speed over here we can go up to 150 with ease so right now we're continuing our ride and uh, heading towards kuala lumpur basically we're going to the hotel first and yeah the roads are so awesome the cop has blocked the traffic over there and you know i'm so tempted to use the paddles over here the buttons are there down shift and here we go good amount of thrust on offer really pulls strongly this motorcycle such an enjoyable machine it's not bad at all around corners yeah i need a downshift here we go <laughs> riding a motorcycle that is so heavy so tall so offer focused and going like this is simply wow okay they're shooting the gold wing sorry to photo bomb here we go ride quality is phenomenal i mean it is a phenomenal it absorbs almost everything in its stride that's how good the ride quality is and there's a gold wing right next to me there it goes the gold wing <laughs> lot of wind somehow today i don't know why mercedes cars being delivered <laughs> look at the cop corner wow 46 km to kuala lumpur which means around half an hour ish at this speed there is a camera crew this road is really nice 60 is the limit and we can okay now 40 is the limit which means we have to slow down there must be some road work going on ahead yeah there is i think you have to slow down okay yeah done <laughs> all right the road is amazing but it rained right now so everything is completely wet and uh, yeah a lot of spray coming all over the place so basically at the front honda has dull down the speed for safety and subsequently obviously everyone has to dull down their speed a lot of water splash happening in fact it rained really heavily and now the sun is out as well so very mixed climate conditions here in malaysia so here the sun is out the road is beautiful the road is little bit wet and i am enjoying the africa to win huh? it leaps ahead that's how strong the mid range is wow ah uh, there cops have stopped everyone uh, honda sports car nsx apparently i think the road has dried up we can start opening up all right down shift so we have stopped for fueling refueling that is not even half tank on this motorcycle but tomorrow we will be going to the moto gp track on these motorcycles itself cameraman shooting on the gopro 7 wonder why his doesn't hang up anyways i got to fuel up right now quickly and i think it's going to take another hour for 20 km due to city traffic hopefully the cops are able to open all the roads for us and uh, quickly show you around let me get into neutral okay we are neutral and here the beautiful motorcycle the long line like 61 motorcycles going to fill up fuel that's going to take a lot of time trust me
Hi guys, I had an amazing ride. My goodness, the ride was awesome. So the last update was we had a break. After that, you know, it should start raining. And I was like, okay, it's going to drizzle and all. Even one drop of water, if it goes in the GoPro with the mic open slot, you're going to screw it. So I was like, okay, fine. Let's keep the camera inside. I did that. It started pouring and pouring. I completely wet top to bottom. Okay, they had refreshments down. I'm like, please let me go to my room. First things first quickly changed all the riding gear is lying here so here are the shoes completely wet there my riding pants completely wet and uh, <laughs> it's crazy <sighs> yeah everything is wet including my t-shirt and i was worried that there's a camera in my bag the one i'm shooting with right now will that also get wet but thankfully that camera bag or rather that bag of mine which i always use is sort of waterproof anyways as you can see even my helmet is completely wet and I was actually riding with my uh, visor up because it was fogging and then I was feeling hot so I was doing that also so water was coming my eyes are a little red right now so this is the room it's a beautiful room yeah it's a massively beautiful room humongous room it's the Le Meridian uh, room uh, Le Meridian hotel actually so I'll tell you something very interesting what happened uh, there was too much traffic there was just too much traffic if we followed all rules and regulation and came like normal people now it would have taken us four hours it took us around 45 minutes to come but uh, it would have taken four hours Malaysia also has crazy traffic and I wish I could have shot all this but two lanes on the right and two lanes on the left and between that we were like going at lot of speed because the cops had stopped traffic everywhere and they did an absolute great job of stopping traffic right left everywhere so that's great you know because of which I'm sorry I'm lying down because my upper back is hurting a bit anyways because of which you know we were able to come fast otherwise it took you know, a lot of time the cops did a fantastic job even in the rain they were riding at crazy speeds and cornering at crazy speeds it was amazing to see but uh, this is an issue with the GoPro camera so you know what I did I put a plastic sheet to cover the mic as well as this thing and as soon as I gave throttle that complete thing came off anyways the view from this room is really beautiful so right now it's almost uh, 4 30 I'm quickly going to wear shoes still in these half pants i'm going to go have some refreshments quickly because at six o'clock we have to go and meet someone really special and i'll just show you the view from the room i mean the room itself looks mind-boggling i don't know why there are two beds but still and that's the washroom over there but the view from the room is just amazing just look at it so i'm not going to talk i'm just going to show you Why did darkness come? I felt the lightning shake me into hell. Why did darkness come? I wanna stay in here where I have to know. 